today is we're going to talk about the automotive industry with regards to EDI processing. Uh, so if we're taking a look at this first slide that we have here, you have the automotive company, which is usually consisting of like a General Motors, a Toyota, Honda, any of those other conglomerates that are inside of that automotive company. Um, on the right hand side is going to be your system. So your WMS, your ERP, whatever type of system you're interacting with. Um, in the middle, you're going to have documents that are being sent via AS2 or FTP. Uh, for more information on those types of communication, visit our YouTube channel. It'll go through and give you more perspective into those two means of getting documents sent back and forth. So as you can see, we have a document being sent to our system, which is a planning schedule with release capability. It is also known as an 830 or a Del 4. A part of EDI, when you're in the automotive industry, you could have two different sets being used. There's an ANSI X12 that some of the automotive industry will use, and then others will use Edifact. So some will use ANSI X12, some will use Edifact. That's why you'll see in this, dis this display, we have the two different types of documents. So ANSI X12 would be an 830, the Dell 4 would be our Edifact. Um, so what those do is that's a forecasting document. As far as forecasting what the automotive in company would be wanting from you, whether it be over the next year, the next six months, the next 30 days, 90 days, 120 days, whatever it may be, you'll get a forecasting document or a planning schedule with release capabilities because the automotive industry before COVID was run very tight in what supplies they had waiting around. Instead of having an absorbent amount of supplies waiting around, they just had what they would need for maybe the next week, two weeks, 30 days. With COVID, they've now increased those. So you might see an 830 or a Dell 4, and you might not because they might have gotten away from JIT or just in time supply. So they might have gotten away from that because of how the supply chain's been affected with COVID. On to the next document that we would be seeing come across from our trading partner. They would be sending us a purchase order or an 850 or orders document in Edifact. That's a breakdown. That's to tell us exactly what we want them to shipping right now. Um, and then the next document that we'd be looking at is we would be responding back to the automotive company with an 855 or a purchase order acknowledgement detailing what we can actually ship back. As you take notice in Edifact, we don't have a comparable document to acknowledge purchase orders. Then in turn, when we're ready to ship documents or ship products, I should say, not ship documents, to ship products, we're gonna do an advanced ship notice, which is gonna be either an 856 or a DES ad if we're in Edifact. So remember, ANSI X12, Edifact. Same documents, a little bit different in their nature, but they're pretty much getting the same job done. And then finally, what we would have is we'd have our invoice. So an 810 or an invoic, if you're looking in Edifact. Those are our common documents that you're gonna see, and there's other ones that'll mix in there. Um, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you an understanding as to the documents that you would commonly see in the automotive industry when you're handling EDI. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Again, Jim Gonzalez, EDI Support. We're here to help you as much as possible.